Hello, everyone. RBG Kim here back with some more Persona 3 Reload. In the previous video, we got a tutorial with Tartarus, and Junpei joined us. And now we're actually going to go to Tartarus. I just want to chat. Oh, right. So we're actually gonna go to Tartarus. So let's go to Tartarus. Yes. So I also did save it beforehand just in case I'm like, oh shit, I need to do something. But I don't think I don't think anything like that will come across. Um so As we explore Tartarus, this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you to take charge during the operation. During your turn in battle, pressing up will open the tactics menu, which will allow you to change how each party members will act during their turn. Direct commands allow you to control their actions. Act freely. The party member will choose the best course of action according to the situation. Full assault. The party member will prioritize attacking. Conserve SP. The party member will choose an action while saving SP. Heal and support. The party members will prioritize their health and focus on recovery. Direct commands. The party member will act according to player input. Tactics also can be viewed and changed through status. In the menu, go to stats and use L1, R1. Star goal from check stats to tar tactics. Or you can change the tactics of each party member. So this still so this is just nothing now. Oh, here we are. The clock at the entrance can be used to fully restore HP and SP for your entire team. You can also find clocks on the floors you've currently explored. They'll also provide the same effect as the clock at the entrance. Activating a clock requires seven twilight fragments, so you should make a habit of collecting them for your emergencies. Oh! Well, that's... unfortunate. That now costs a different kind of... payment. Can I actually go all... oh my gosh, I can. Oh my gosh, this place is too big. This place is too fucking big. Hey. Alright, um... Alright. So usually, if you guys are familiar with my Persona 3 portable live stream that I did last year. You know that uh when we come to tar when it comes to Tartarus, we go all the way to the stopping point. Oh, that reminds me. Let's discuss our first goal for this exploration. According to our research, Tartarus is divided into several different regions. If we continue to climb the tower, then we'll eventually reach a spot that leads to a new area. Regarding that's reaching that spot should be our first goal. Alright. Are you all set? Remember, don't push yourself too hard. You can always use the teleport to return. You can also go back to the highest floor you've reached that day. Ah, yes. Here, take this. If you ever find yourself in danger, don't hesitate to use them. Thanks. That's all for my end. Good luck. Okay, so it's just like in Portable where you can go to the highest floor. From here. Each floor's dimensions may vary, but don't feel compelled to explore every inch of every new layout. Rushing directly for the stairs is a completely viable strategy. I leave that choice to your discretion. You can dash by pressing and holding R2 while moving. You'll cover ground more quickly, making your exploration of targets more effective. However, enemies will spot you more easily when dashing, so be careful. Let's give this our best shot. What the hell is that? Look at it. Here's your chance to attack. Oh, damn it. Excellent work. You hit a weak spot. Now, let's take some Here it's done for. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Pixie. Did you see that? That's the game. Nothing? Hmm. Isn't this the 
school hallway? Now it's all distorted and creepy. Oop, I spy some treasure. What the hell is that supposed to do? Maybe it opens up a chest. Maybe if I destroy them all, it opens up a chest. Trigger. Money. We haven't lost health yet. There you have it. Oh, pretty well. All right, that has to be okay. It's the stairs. What was the point of those things? Does this not drop anything? I'm actually curious. Can I? Oh, sweet! I can't go to the next floor as soon as I found the stairs. Let's also, see. is there. Damn, so I can't change background music yet? Let's just get going. And I can't split up the party? Well, about that. I'm likely to find a plethora of these strange mineral deposits scattered throughout Tartarus. Supposedly, these fountains are the crystallization remains of shadows. There's sure to be useful materials inside them. When you find one, try cracking it open. You mean what I've been doing and we got found nothing? Within Taurus, you will find breakable objects compromised of shall remains. Destroying them will sometimes yield items, so get wrecking. All right, let's get going. Oh, only sometimes, huh? Other. Fucker. Is that treasure? Treasure. If only Shadow showed up during class. Micro sash. Okay, let me look at those equipment things. Luck, HP plus 10. Eh, might as well put that one on. Ooh, sweet lifestyle. Okay, so it is like how how it is with all the other ones, where you get knocked down, but you're not confused. So, I'm sorry. Choose a persona that you already have when all personas who share the same arcana will gain experience. Oh! Ah, uh, let's get the health for now. When it's something that's like not necessary, when it's something that's like, oh, okay, we can definitely get, we could definitely use some health back. Um, that's what we'll get, but like, okay, that's actually really cool with the persona stuff. Oh, 
of SARS. Angel, might as well get Angel. We'll always get new personas. We did it. Let me look at my personas actually. Okay, so I can have two more. I have. I definitely. Oh, Pixie's a lot. Is a. Oh, I guess Pixie's has always been lover. Lovers. I thought Pixie's was a magician. Ah, fuck. Okay. Well, that's fine. Definitely use them for fusioning. Fusioning. Fusions. This get oh my god, Atlas! I'm begging you. Honestly, literally, just have it be available to play on current gen consoles. Give us Persona One and the du Persona Two Duology. Just let it be playable. You don't need to make a full remake or anything. You keep running records on ha on hand of each area you explore. After you establish the route, navigating you through it again should be no issue. However, due to Tarus's changing nature, these records become useless the next time you visit. While exploring, you can press L1 to open the minimap, which shows your current location as well as the path you traveled. It also displays information on enemy and treasure chest locations, so don't hesitate to check it every now and then. After finding the stairs, you can use the shortcut to move to the next floor from any spot. It could be worth your while to scour the current floor before moving to the next. Mm -hmm. It's a treasure chest. Oh, there's a rare treasure chest here. Some oh, well, that's right. That's literally right there. Here's your chance to attack. Alright, the enemy's down. I'll go with. I'll go with. The enemy's down. Here we go. Nope, you can't see the Oh, besides the minor arcana shuffles that occasionally occur during shuffle time, major arcana cards may also rarely appear. Only one of each major arcana card may be acquired once per day. The number of major arcana cards you can acquire in a day is also limited. When you've acquired the maximum number of major arcana cards, an arcana burst will occur and increase the ranks of your minor arcana cards. Collect as many major arcana cards as you can. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get that. Now is that, do I only keep that until the Arcana Burst, or will I always have that? Damn, I'm Nailed it. Nice going, Junpei. Nice going, Junpei. For a sec. Hey, don't leave me behind. What's up, Yukatan? You tired already? Yo, check out that fancy chest. Cure water. They look so. A shadow. I don't know. There's just. I like the way the shells move in here. They're awesome. It's a group of three. You have the initiative. Looks like the enemy's weak to ice. In this situation, I love that.
Money or let's get money for now. I got I gotta get a lot of money. And I gotta get I mean obviously I got grind. Um I don't know what higher level I'm gonna be. Best Sudi. Like, I don't want to be too high level, but also at the same time, it's like I don't want to be too low level. I am on hard also, so. One teleporter sighted. It'll take us back to the entrance, but I'm down to keep going. Ooh, I spy some treasure. An odd morsel. Perfect. I need to grab one of those. In that room. We got ourselves. It's a group of three. You have the initiative. In this situation. No, yeah, let's get a power slash. Careful. The enemy's nearby. Detecting a powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone stay sharp. Let's see. Just remember the frequency of the signal. This is undoubtedly a stronger foe. It would be wise to just regroup before approaching. That device there. Maybe I'll use it. Do check it out. The console display in a series of numbers. Hmm, I see. Go ahead and select the first floor on the device. It should bring you back. I knew it. Those devices are teleporters. They're portals that are all connected to one another. Once activated, you should be able to travel between any of the other devices. Be sure to activate any you come across. They'll be quite useful during future expeditions. Not all teleporters are one way. You will sometimes encounter another type of teleporter. This teleporter works like an elevator. It allows you to travel between floors with teleporters or return to the entrance. Use them to explore tires more efficiently. gonna be rough how the hell do I get twilight fragments in Tartar so I just find them lying around Marvelous. I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged and nu nurtured since here it may not be much but this is my gift to you please accept it oh well thank you Elizabeth will occasionally give you twilight fragments as a reward for raising your social status or establishing new social links this is a lot of Elizabeth Priogly to collect them. Forward to it. I still cannot foresee the limits of your potential. I look forward to witnessing you you grow even further. How may I assist now you? then, how may I be of assistance? Registering personas? Is overriding acceptable? All registered. Now then. Which will you choose? Fornius, I'm too low of a level. Silky or Silky. Angel or Nekomata. This would be a wise choice. With no Agi. I think for now I should be fine. Are you finished? 
We look I will do a fusion, but I think I'm fine for now. Up ahead. Are you ready for battle? Let's go. All right, let's go. Move out, squad. Keep your eyes on me. This is beyond the level of an ordinary shadow. Watch yourself. I'll go in. This is it. All right, the enemy's down. Let's see. I think confused. My boof boo. You think you can hit me? Excellent. Talking about dogs, give him head. Let's go. Enemy down. Keep that up, Yuri. What's next? Time in. Hell yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, interesting. So they get dizzy after an all out attack. Wait, no, they don't. Critical. Now let's move on. I think I'm getting stronger. Patra. Nicely done. Not done, everyone. That was a formidable opponent. <laughs> okay, my stand performance aside, aren't all of us totally on the same wavelength now? Let's not bring up your stunning performance ever. I'd rather not be on the same wavelength as you, either. What? Why not? Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Jeez. Well, I guess you have a point. Let's keep up the good work, Yuki-kun. We're doing good work for our new team. Let's keep up the pace. Right now, Tardis is our only lead to unraveling the mystery behind the dark hour. Alrighty, then let's keep on moving. I guess not all of them are totally weak, but they still don't stand a chance against me. Oop, I spy some treasure. A bead. Give me that bead. Let's see. Doing great, but I'm sure that last battle must have worn you out some. If you continue on now, there's no time when you'll find another teleporter. Since there's no... Since there's one right here, I suggest you... you make use of it to stop for a break. Fuck no! Well, actually, hold on. Yeah. 
There you go, that's fine. How's work? It would seem your enemies grow strong with each refloor. Despite the immediate danger, it stands to reason we've gained valuable experience. Let's continue on. Hey, let's loot that chest. Another odd morsel. Is that? That's the shadow up ahead. I'll take this opportunity to teach you about shifting. Shifting? Let's do this. Get ready. Here it comes. I'll provide you with support as well. We're gonna get swifty. We're gonna get swifty in here. All right. Let me tell you about a new tactic called shifting. I mean, it is new. When you knock an enemy down, shifting allows you to leverage that opening to let someone else take action. Is it base? I think it's basically kind of like a baton pass. Once you do, your offense can follow up with whoever you passed your action to. If you can coordinate well with your team, you'll be able to claim victory with even greater efficiency. Yeah, I think it's basically like a baton pass. You should all be experienced enough to pull this off now. Go ahead and give it a try. If you shift during a one more, you can press the chance for an additional attack to another party member. Press L2 to hand over the turn to someone else. Make use of everyone's strengths to bat the bow efficiently. Go for the enemy's weakness to win. Okay. What to do? Angel. Angel. Of your max on HP. Yeah, I get that. Great, we got some SP every now and then. See, so basically we're working together to battle more efficiently. In combat, you should be as coordinated as possible. Put to good use. Oh, hello. I would assume is this where twi do Twilight Shards show up in those things then? That'd be my guess. I can I can swap to whatever persona? Okay. That makes it a little more busted. to restore my SP. You better get the fucking thing to 
Get enough twilight shards. Looks like we've mapped. Stairs. You know, I'm actually pretty fit, huh? I wonder. Maybe we're this strong because of the power of our personas. Or maybe not. Hey, There's two. Time. Here's your chance to attack. What's next? I hope a new game plus yeah. all the weaknesses and such carry over. I highly doubt they do because they never really do. Unless, well, of course, I think it only does that. Actually, no, I don't think Golden does do that. I thought it did at first, but I don't think it does. Damn, the lover's silky. Come on, silky. What does Odd Marshall do? Oh, gives you, but I can only be done in battle. Let's see. I don't care about my fur. This I want to know. We got ourselves a shadow here. It disappeared though. Is that gold shadow? Weird. It's the stairs. Oh, that reminds me. How are you feeling? You're not likely to make much meaningful progress when you're worn down. Be sure to recover if your health is low. It isn't permanent to rescue your well-being unnecessarily. If you press R1 during exploration to automatically recover HP, a party member's recovery skill will be used to instantly restore HP of all party members. Is your recovery skill to auto recover HP will also cause SP. So if you run out of SP, you will not be able to auto recover. Be sure to monitor your SP whenever you use it. It's a treasure chest. Oh, the way these shadows wriggle and squirm is so gross. I know, right? It's like they were ripped right out of a nightmare. Maybe there's something nice inside. We got the upper hand. Can't stop. Suck on that. Enemy down. Keep that up, Yori. Did I like not recover? Am I not recovering H HP from those things? So I feel like I did not recover HP from the cup, unless it's only for me. Okay, it says I will restore. Okay. It's only for me, not the party. Perfecto. <laughs> so I'm like, why does, why does Yukari and uh? Junpei still have like low ass health. A shadow. All right, let's do this. Ah! Enemy down. Keep that up, Yuri. What to do? What to do? Okay. All right, the enemy's down. Do it. Grab you that. Pull the trigger.
Ooh. Can two of the item Magaru gem. Arcana Pesto. We've collected all the major Arcana cards that can appear in a day. Arcana Burst will occur and you can acquire a minor Arcana card of your choice. The Arcana Burst, the ranks of the minor Arcana cards that appear will increase until you leave Tartars for the day. Try to activate Arcana Burst as often as possible to collect stronger minor Arcana cards. Get Augie, more money. The whole party's defense will increase at the start of the next battle. Ah, right, give me more money. So it's so I now have rank two stuff now, which is great. And it seems like I still get the bonus of experience. And actually, is there a way I can see that? Look at it, running around like. Oh fuck! I completely forgot what button it was. Three targets and they have the advantage. Huh? Hold on. You don't. Perfect. Now, if only that could also be done with SP. Nailed it. Nice going, Junpei. Nice going, Junpei. I completely forgot what button is like. Ah, uh, what button attacks again? That was X for some strange reason. we go. This is what I was hoping for was stuff like this. I want to see this one. I guess this is what happens if you don't get... Um... Let's get moving. Let's see. God damn it. Ah! Should've... Is that treasure? I should have bought juice. Let's get cracking. What's next? Time in. I should have bought juice. I heal my SP.
even Let's more. Oh, hello. Well. Ooh, that's some good money. How much money do I currently have? A little 10,000. Not bad. Definitely need a lot more, but that's fine. Hey, it's the stairs. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Turn around. Turn around, motherfucker. Bullshit. First of all, I don't even know I fucking missed you. Is there a rush? Uh, I don't think there's rush. Uh, oh, there is a rush. Don't be so reckless. You won't have enough stamina. Look at it. Wandering around like a clown. Okay. Wandering around like a clown. There's two. Right, Here's your chance to attack. Ah, Follow me down. Job, you Get that up, Yuri. Can't stop me now. What's next? There's Zona. Better be watching. Who's next? I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Probably weak to electricity. Oh, nope, never mind, it's Bofo. Stamina. Retreat could be a viable option. Could be, but we're not going to. Is there any? Like <laughs> There's trouble waiting for us on the floor up. It's like the shower we face on the fifth floor. We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Lock chest. Oh, so one that I need twilight shards for. Hey. Have you ever wondered who's been setting up treasure chests here? I don't know, but it's probably not the shadows, huh? It costs one, although now I need three Twilight Shards, but Pixie Dust Talisman, which doesn't that just give me more, doesn't that just give me HP? Oh, it gives me SP. Eh, not worth it. Look at it. Wandering around like a clown. Yes, two! We have Here's your chance to attack. Tough luck. Excellent. Talking about 
Oh, well, bullshit. This doesn't look good. The health is low. Do you have any healing? Takeba's in danger. Someone patch her up. I'll go with. Never mind. Malasite. You've lost a lot of stamina. Are you all right? <laughs> Is that treasure? Oh, hey, the shell's gone. Shit. The enemy's nearby. Taking a powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone stay sharp. Hmm. I observe that every few floors you'll encounter a powerful foe blocking your way. These gatekeepers, as we'll call them, aren't going to simply let you pass. You'll need to prepare for a real fight. Ensure you're ready before engaging a gatekeeper. And make use of teleporters if you need it. Enough twilight fragments. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Register. See, is overriding acceptable? All registered. Are you finished? We look forward. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up on some of the early floors here, 
And maybe I can grind out some twilight shards on some of the early floors. Salut. Okay, it won't let me go. So I have to start from here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. We'll just go out around from the early floors to get some twilight shards. Hope we don't run into any creeps here. Oh wait! Whoa! Wait a minute! Wait. This really is the school, huh? The layout here looks kind of familiar. So the okay, the floor stays the we same. The shadow here. So the floor stays the same. So, okay, that's what I was confused about, like, when they were talking about, oh, so the layout only changes when I leave Tartarus. I thought it was, like, you know how it was, like, every time, it's... I was surface for some HP, I don't think I really need that. But the good news is... I still get... The good news is those things pop back up, so... Okay, I finally grinded. That's the wrong button. I grinded seven Twilight Fragments. It's so hard because they only appear in those Shadow Fragments things with, if they're blue. And I've only come across like three of them. And they only drop one. Oh God, I hope they become more common as you get higher. Oh, I really wish that that costed money. Look at how much money I have now. 25000 I think I'll be good with money when time comes. I did my best trying not to grind. Like, I literally, like, I was like, okay. I, I was like, I didn't want to do anything. I have a low difficulty just so, like, if I did run across enemies, I could just, you know, I won't take too much damage. I could just auto battle Welcome them. To the velvet room. We're going through some personas because we might as well do that. Registering, I see. Is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. Are you in search of... Please, choose the personas you would like so... to So... Well, should I make Jack Frost? I should just make Jack Frost right away. This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit. Um... Here's freeze, shock, poison, drown. I can do two skills, okay. So I think I want Secunda and Patra. It seems you have been blessed with some <laughs> Why this is exciting, isn't it? I can't wait to see what a fusion accident is. Oh, I'm Jack Frost. Oh, ho, well, aren't you a strapping young lad? Just like me, hee ho. Nice to meet you. Oh, this persona seems to be harboring something inside. Occasionally, a newly created persona will come bearing an item. This item can be attained by raising the item bearing persona to a predetermined level. You can check the attainment level under Persona stats on the skills details screen. Oh, it seems the magician social link has blessed you with even more power. Level up, ho! The first of many. Make Aramitama. Take all the time you need to consider.
Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. We'll be fine, though. We'll be fine for now. Very well. Uh, let's see. We look yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole video is just going to be me doing Tartarus. Because there's nothing else for me to do. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Salut. Actually, I should have saved first. Yeah, I didn't save. Granted, I did, I did make food in between as well, but it still takes so fucking long. Ahead. Are you ready for battle? Hell yeah! Looks tougher than I thought, but ain't get nothing stopping me. You're up against a difficult opponent, but if the intel is available, I can help you. I can suggest the most effective attack based on the enemy's weakness. But I can only assist like this when we know the enemy's weakness. I'm sorry, but until you can get more information, you'll be on your own. During battle, press R1 for an assist. The attack most effective against an enemy will automatically be selected. It works as a shortcut to select one of your attacks that targets an enemy's weakness. Take advantage of the shortcut whenever an enemy's weakness is known. The enemy's weakness is fire! What to do? Do I have another persona that knows Agi? No. That's how Tarz is a good ass song, man. Ow! You 
Level 10. <sighs> you move on now. The next floor doesn't look any different. You don't think it'll be the same old thing forever, do you? Only one way to find out. Uh... Yeah, you're right. It's just, I want to at least feel like we're making progress. No point in overthinking things now. All we gotta do is keep moving forward. After all, I've already made up my mind. Oh, look at you all fired up. What's going into you all of a sudden? Oh, um, nothing really. Anyway, enough about me. Gotta keep going, right? Come on, let's get on, move on. Every few floors, there's some kind of gatekeeper. And they're always stronger and nastier than the last. Well. You have some balls. Need three to open them. Ugh. Well, the good news is, since the floors don't change, I'm actually quite curious, too, since this is also a gatekeeper or a guardian floor, if uh, if that would stay unopened, even if I left hers. Is that? There's a rare shadow pet. Perhaps you can ambush it. A rare shadow. Also, something weird happened. On one of the floors, I think all the treasures respawn. What? Wait, is that sh a sh is that Shadow Beheada? Hmm. Well, now that shell took off like a bandit, didn't it? Those ones are fairly rare. I suppose we can simply call them rare shadows. It can be tough to catch. But the potential rewards are worth the trouble. I swear in Taurus, you may encounter an elusive rare shadow. Defeating them will net you a hefty rewards. Rare shadows will attempt to flee if they spot you. They'll keep running until they successfully escape. You want to ambush them from behind and strike quickly. Right. It seems to have turned left up ahead. Why don't you try tracking it down? Critical. The thrill of the hunt. Okay, I'm like that the trophies have like Ooh, I actually you actually get experience this time around. I always forget about the dash button. All right. I will say the floors aren't that bad to like navigate around. Like I feel like they're never going to be too huge, kind of like in the original three. I'm detecting a stronger foe on an upcoming floor. Another gatekeeper. It'd be wise to conserve our strength. Have you made use of the escape order? A strategic retreat can mean the difference between life and death. You can always regroup and try again. 
Wamba, well, I'll pressing up to open the tactics menu and select escape. That will end if an escape route can be found after three turns. However, keep in mind that an escape route may not be found. While well, in the process of looking for escape route, commands are still can still be given to Onor, uh, the right, party members. Why, but it's a lot harder to speak up when it's this quiet. Hey, let's loot that chest. She's like no map also with the shouts so obviously the only way to like fully escape them hey, it's the is to you know dash like that and you can like dash oh, around you can keep running to... around in circles in the same room and eventually they'll just disappear but uh i feel like as soon as they get like to a certain distance on you they will automatically always get the the hit on you like no matter what kind of sucks but eh. Also, Junpei is fucking low on health. I just realized that. Let me give you a few life stones there, bud. Cause I have thirty of them. Well done. We've completely mapped out this area. Guess that's that. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I might as well just duh. see that kind of chest often let's not pass it up no fuck that because i i will be honest i do i'm not a big fan of the old twilight charge things until there's like Those a really i mean yeah you get them from elizabeth by advancing social links and stuff like that but hey, like come the fuck on like come the fuck on with all the bullshit with that it's uh, no, honestly, I wouldn't mind it if it didn't cost that much to- if it didn't cost so many of them to use the clock to heal you. Granted, yet- oh. We have the advantage. We have the you can do this. Like, I get it. I totally get it. You know, in original P- I can't remember in, in original P3 it was like that, but in, in FPS, you just get to the first floor and you're fully healed. Or you could just spend money like you could in Portable. Yours. 
Nice critical. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Four and yes. Ooh, and your HP will be fully. Well, only my HP will be fully recover, recovered. Let's get four and yes. It's not like my HP doesn't need didn't need to be fully healed. Hey, let's loot that chest. Oh, is that rare? That is a rare enemy, isn't it? Oh, it's weak to bash. Hell yeah. You're done for. You won. Now let's move on. Dude, I don't have a SARS. I could grab her to do another fusion. Or I could grab Zio. Ah, I'll grab her. Worldly coin. I don't think... I don't think the, uh... I don't think the hands had weaknesses in, uh, three. the entrance, but So I'm sure we'll get close well to level done. 11. Hmm? It's a treasure chest. A shooty gem. We got ourselves a shadow here. So I, so I, okay, well that did kind of help, but normally, or in, in original three, when you climb like the There's stairs the things in these areas, that would like prevent the shadows from chasing you, but that does not work here. See, I feel like even though I was still far away, he, he got to a certain, he got close enough away from me that it didn't matter. Also that I'm blocked. Weak to Zio, isn't it? Probably. That's one less to worry about. Destruction. Her dodge is funny. She's just like, Oop. Well done. Oh, yeah. Mm, I could get silky again. I get more money. 2020, baby. Well done. 
We've completely mapped out this area. Cool. Z <laughs> oh shit! Careful. The enemy's the nearby. A powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone, stay sharp. Salut. I see you're making good progress. You appear to be getting the hand of things in combat. On the topic, have you been paying attention to enemy weaknesses? Explaining a weakness will make you hit harder and more often. Doing so can turn the tide of a battle. The more kinds of attack you can use, the more chances you'll have to hit a weakness. There's where your ability comes in handy. I don't think I need to heal. Well, well, I mean, I will save, so no worries about that. But let's do something here. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering personas. Will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. Where's the... Oh, there we are. I was like, how do I see... Ah, please choose the personas you would like Archangel. to use. Interesting. Make Aramitama. This persona, yes? I can make just Nekomata. No, I don't really need to. Alright, Mitama would be fine. Problem to make. Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. Use Angel. Jack Frost is like only. Oh, Omiokane. Now, there are gonna have to be specific personas I'm gonna have to get here Very at some well. point, but for now, I think we're okay. We look. So I probably should, well, I would assume if I come across a new persona I don't have, or a persona that I don't currently have with me, I can, um... I forgot to save. I'm going to assume that I can switch, like, a persona to swap with. Uh, yeah, I saved here. Don't ask me why I didn't do the four. It's fine. All right. Um. Actually, hold on a second here. Um. You know Zio, so I'm actually going to equip you because I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be weak to Zio. All right. It's enemy territory up ahead. Are you ready for battle? These things usually are weak to Zio right. or Garu. Ready? Let's go. The enemy's attacks are growing stronger. If you're being overwhelmed by the enemy's assault, protect yourself by guarding. If you're guarding, then even if your weakness is struck, you can avoid being knocked down. Try and make use of that in battle. You can guard against an enemy's attack. Prepare present circle. Guard will reduce damage by half. Guard can also keep you from getting knocked down even if the enemy targets your weakness. It will not be inflicted with a status that will guard either. If an enemy is winding up for a powerful attack, or if you think your weakness will be targeted, try guarding to play it safe. What to do? Pixie! This is our tent! Do. 
Jack Frost. Now's the time. Come on, Persona. I'll give him hell. Turn it. Excellent. Good hit. Yuri's been knocked down. Someone cover for him. I'll go with. I'll go with. Pixie. Bow wop bow wop bump. The enemy's down. Get ready. Sometimes it's good to hit the enemy again instead of going for all that attack. Media! Thank God. <laughs> and another one bites the dust. We're on a roll, guys. All right. How about we spice things up every now and then? Like by changing up the leader? What? And here I was worried about what you'd say next. Don't you want to see how I run this whole shebang? Well, don't you? Should we switch? Honestly. Wait. It wouldn't be wise for a change in command in the middle of an expedition. We're making safe progress under Yuki's lead. So let's continue as we have been. Fine. Sure, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I could just take down the enemies here all by myself. Hey, listen. Chill out, Junpei. If you're not careful, it won't be long till you get hurt. Takaba's right. We can't expect another strong enemy to appear. Don't let your guard down as we proceed. Okay. Whatever. Guess there's always next time. Can hear our footsteps echo. Hey. Two and three, so I need five, six, seven, eight. I need eight for the ones I haven't opened up yet. Or nine. Or hmm. however many. Well, well. The shells on this floor are much weaker than you. This may be a good opportunity to try the rush command. Rush can be greatly useful if you're trying to move through a floor without spending much time in battle. When you choose Rush, all party members will defeat the base, default to their basic weapon attacks in rapid succession. While this isn't the most tactical involved strategy, it will allow you to move much faster through combat encounters. Press start during battle will let you rush through command. Every party member will attack automatically and continuously. This allows the battle to proceed at high speed without any player input. To stop Rush, press zero. We don't or see that circle. kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. Well, I mean, we have to pass up because I have no fucking Twilight things. Sometimes the enemies gang up and fight together, right? Do you think they get along? Hey, doesn't that chest look kind of different from the others? Two enemies. That's not We're good. not strong, but they have the first two. Uh. Good. One less to worry about. We were born. All right. Now, 
Back to business. There's a shadow! Down the stairs! Yes, we got you to focus! Don't pull it out! Well, you always get one down, okay? <laughs> All right, you won. All right. Great work out there. Rebellion. Fucking odd morsels. And this the fucking social link that I need this for doesn't even isn't available to have a specific high of a her no charm. Right out there. <sighs> Things are good. Shut up. You're fine. Hey, let's loot that chest. Ooh, nice. Keep getting money. Yo, yeah, there's a shadow. In this situation. Tarunda or money money? I got experience, but we don't really need experience right now. Nailed it! Nice going, Jinpei. Look at it. Wandering around like a like a clown. This one isn't much of a threat. Don't get careless. This one isn't much of a threat, but don't get careless. Looks like the enemy's weak to ice.
It's a treasure chest. No matter how many shadows we beat, there's always more coming our way. Hey, isn't that one different from the other? We're in luck. Can't That's not an enemy you see often. Go for it, honey! Go for it, honeys! Hell yeah! Let him have it, fellas! I'm actually curious if we could get a uh, shuffle time with uh with a hand. Now, back to it's not any. Look at it. I'm glad you can also tell when it's uh a rare uh a, a golden hand as well. Yes, we have the advantage. Looks like the enemy's weak to ice. One less to worry about. What to do? Never mind. <laughs> Excellent. Talk about dogs the attack. Can't afford to lose. Talk about. Are you all right? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Jim Beck could also probably usually pick me up. You dodged it. Well done. Just one target left. Finish this. Nice, got critical. Alright then, moving on. I love the fact that when when it's like you're like with Orpheus, he shows up 
directly behind me, but all the other personas show up like to the side like that. Oh, how the fuck have we not came across any of the Twilight ones? Some bullshit. Hmm. There don't appear to be any enemies on this floor. Wait, what's going on? There aren't any enemies on the next floor either. Ah, they seem to be special floors. I'll need you to go up through them for the investigation. No. Interesting. So... Oh, so they're actually giving me a checkpoint before the the block. What's this? This floor. There's no mistake in it. Do you recall, Yuki? How I once told you Tartarus was separated into multiple areas by boards resembling rifts. I believe this is one of those border floors. I'm not sensing any enemies. Would you mind taking a look around? document one the power supply expansion has been completed what's unusual is the excess wattage why would an island with only a school on need so much power let's see it seems to keep you know, on upwards but the path is blocked looks like there's no way to progress any further right now so let's stop here for tonight we still managed to cover a lot of ground well done everyone um... yes that's it then but how are we going to get past this roadblock? Hmm. Tartarus changes every day, right? So maybe it won't be blocked off tomorrow night or something? No. Unfortunately, that logic doesn't seem to apply here. Some floors have fixed structures and layouts. This appears to be one of them. Some other factors may have caused this. I'll look into it. <laughs> Guess we just gotta wait. Come on, bounce, Makoto. As you ascend Tartarus, you will reach border floors that prevent you from progressing any further. As there's no way to dispel these barriers, you'll have to wait for the right time. AKA story progression. Alrighty guys, well I think this is a good spot to end this part of Let's Play Persona 3 Reload. In the next part guys, uh, I guess we just, we, we just pal around a bit until uh, stuff happens. So, thank you, so yeah, off screen I'm probably just gonna Few some personas, get some personas. Um, maybe just run around and get some other stuff too. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below, like about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know, guys, what you think of our first four way into Tartarus. This is basically how the Tartarus videos are gonna be. It's me just going up basically until we get to our block points here. Um and such. Um if there's like a time where it's like, oh, go to Tartarus, um, since I can't make any um, progress in Tartarus, it'll probably just be like a, a grinding day or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it's going to be. Uh, mostly in one video, ideally in one video. If it has to be multiple videos, I'll be like two videos or something like that. Well, we'll see. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really liking this game. I mean, I love the, thir the original game, so yeah, obviously I love this so far. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about it. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as finally on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.